Hello everyone, this is Alea, and this is another installment of what I am coming to call the Boss Chronicles. For those of you who have been with me for a little while and remember my um, blog talk radio segment where I did uh, the Boss Chronicles, which Boss stands for Business on a Shoestring, and I gave uh, tips and tricks and ways to create income and be your own boss because now more than ever it's important to not be solely dependent on other people, other corporations, other businesses for your livelihood. So many of us have worked at corporate jobs and somehow that loyalty is not instilled, particularly in American culture anymore. Uh, there's no longer, you know, the 10, what is it, 30 years and a gold watch and a pension. At this point, it seems that the only people who get that maybe are the guys that are on Wall Street. For the rest of us, the 99% they say, we get to create our own. And so with that in mind, the Boss Chronicles is tips and tricks and things that I've learned along the way to create your own livelihood so that no matter what is going on on Wall Street, no matter what is going on on the news, no matter what is going on in the world, you still have income. And hopefully you still have a place to live, um, a roof over your head, food on your table, and fuel to put in your vehicle or a way to get from point A to point B easily. So today I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, the, the whole business of using your unemployment to create a job. If you look back at some of my other videos, you'll see and, and listen to some of the Boss Chronicle um, episodes that were, were done back in 2010. You'll see where I was talking about taking your uh, free time, whatever free time you had, and creating a situation where you would never, ever be at the mercy of uh, an employer. You would never, ever have to experience a pink slip, so to speak. And this is more along those lines. The, the first thing that I want to sort of touch on is your unemployment check, whatever it is. And actually right now, uh, this is 2012, and from what I'm told, they have extended the unemployment benefits so that you can get um, an extension on whatever your unemployment was. So that gives you an opportunity at this point to actually go out and still look for a job. Don't stop looking for a job. But in the meantime, your focus needs to be on creating your own business. Using this money that you have paid into the system. So don't feel like you're cheating the system because you know, you're know you actually you know really uh, planning to create your own business. Don't feel like you're cheating the system. You're not. This is your money. You paid that money into the system. It's kind of like insurance. You paid the money into the system. You're now out of a job. So the money is yours, and now you get to use it. It's sort of like a savings account. So don't get, don't get caught up in the guilt trip. But um, while you're doing this, take the time to investigate and work toward and work toward, don't leave that part out, work toward what it is that you're going to create for yourself. Don't talk yourself out of it by, you know, thinking up all of the corporate way of doing things. A couple of days ago, or, I, or yesterday maybe, I talked about, you know, buying stuff at the yard sale and reselling it. Actually, for those of you who've had corporate jobs and whatnot, you probably have a closet full of clothes that are really nice and you've either lost weight or gained weight or something and so you're no longer using those clothes. There's other people who want those clothes, who could use those clothes. This is another thing that you can sell. Not as a yard sale though for this. You probably need to either put them into a consignment store in which case it's a somebody else's business or you can start a consignment store of your own. If you start a consignment store of your own 
please, 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 please do not make it a junk trap. I'm going to talk really briefly about consignment stores right now as far as clothing and that kind of thing. You go into those stores and, you know, they're, they're junky. And who wants to buy that stuff? You don't want to buy it and you can't imagine why anybody else would want to buy it. But I had the experience of going into a consignment store that was in Arizona. Um, it was beautiful. They had real shopping carts that were clean. They had real sales tags on their, on their merchandise. They had real dressing rooms that were clean. The only way that I even figured out that this was a consignment store, get this, the only way I figured out this was a consignment store was because I asked the lady if they had whatever thing in my size. And she just looked at me and she said, um, we're a consignment store. And I was shocked because everything in that store looked like Macy's or Neiman Marcus or whatever. It was a beautiful store. I thought their prices were really good. <laughs> But it was a consignment store. So think about that. And, you know, if you're going to create a, a, a consignment store, it doesn't have to be designer merchandise. The merchandise in that store was not designer merchandise, but it was beautifully displayed. And we're going to go through that. I actually go through that in Crafty Cash, that how you display an item, how you... You know, the ambiance, the lighting, the music, the way that the salespeople are dressed, the way that you're dressed, if you're doing a show or something outside. All of these things contribute to whether or not people want to dig in their pocket and give you money. I, I, I could just go on about this stuff forever. A lot of it is in Craft to Cash, which is a, a, a four video series, uh, four hours of how to take your skills and turn them into money. But... I just want to give you little snippets here that will help you to kind of get your mind around taking your unemployment money or whatever money and time that you have right now and turning it into real money that you can use that will be yours forever and that will continue to come back to you over and over and over again as money because you will no longer have a job, you will have a business, a business of your own that nobody can tell you Oh, we're cutting back. I hope this has been of help to you. I hope it gets you to thinking. And I hope that you can figure out a way to create your own boss chronicles. This is on a shoestring. Tune in again and check out the Boss Chronicles uh, series that was on Blog Talk Radio. Just check iTunes for Alea Leyland, A L A I A. L-E-I-G-H-L-A-N-D, and you'll find it. Thank you, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Aloha from Hawaii.